Well, hello and welcome to Quick Guy. I know by the picture, it's hard to tell what this is, but it's actually a Lux Roll in Proofer. Uh, it's a pretty cool idea. You, uh, if you're going to use a rack oven, it works great. You take the rack from the oven, put your bread right on the rack, roll it in the proofer, proof it, take it out, put it right in the oven. You don't have to do a lot of switching the pan. I'll show you how it works. Basically that it does work, because that's what you're concerned about. You grab the camera. This is all the controls up here. We uh, got to 95 and we are up to 88 already. It was up to 89, but I just opened the door. So that's the humidity control. Switch for humidity. Blower. Show you that works. Turn on. Turn off. Now when I turn it on, it's a good time to show you the flush. It's going to be steamy because it's been on, but what it's doing right now is it's flushing the... Uh, water, the, the old water out of the reservoir here, the heating reservoir, and that's making a lot of noise, but it's supposed to do that. It's putting new water in right here, running down, and this is forcing water through this channel, which is creating suction out of the water pot down here, and pulling the water out. So it's actually self-cleaning, it's cleaning itself out every time you turn it on. Okay, there it's done cleaning, so now it's in the fill mug. It's putting water in, filling it up. And now the water is going to heat up. Metal's already hot because I've had it on for a while. The water's going to heat up, and then every once in a while, this one's going to come on right here and uh, refill it. Now this is adjustable. There's a control on here depending upon your water pressure. So that's something that you need to do when you, when you set this machine up is adjust your water here because uh, otherwise you can overfill this. So it's not a big deal, it's just something that needs to be done. Look it over, see right there, it's, it's refilling itself. And if you want to turn down the amount of water, we well, can turn it down to nothing or all the way up to that. So There's also a timer on the amount of time that that will run also. Couple ways to adjust it. The electric is right here, far off, in a nice sealed container with a rubber gasket around it. This is the light. See that that works because it's lit up. Got a switch right here, off light. Turn it off, goes so off. Turn it on. Uh, here's the flush control, manual flush. Well, we just saw it flush, but we'll do it again to prove to you that that works. Watching all the pipes out, see the water coming in, cleaning it out again. That's an aluminum reservoir here, so it'll never last out. So it'll go through that again. Now it does that every time you turn it on. It's, you know, it's a good thing. It'll keep your reservoir clean. It won't clog up that way. And uh, you can also manually flush it. Here's the heat control here. Now we're down to 75, mainly because it's winter here and it's only about, uh, oh, maybe 55, 60 in the building and I've had the door open so it's dropping down. There's a fill light right here. It shows that it's filling. When it's done filling, that'll go off. That's off. Um, that's all the controls for it. The inside is stainless, so it looks good. You can hear the fan running. It's got cardboard on the bottom because we've been walking in and out of it and uh, dealing with water and we didn't want to get the floor all dirty, but you'll be able to see that in the pictures on the website. Take a look at the side, the door here, nice and shiny. It's got a few dents on it, but you know, it is used. Well, to be honest with you, sometimes you get stuff new and it's got dents on it. Okay, I'm going to climb up to the top, show you what the top looks like, so hang on. All right, here's the motor that runs the blower. It's the water valves here. Uh, this is the water valve, Let's see if I get this right. This is the water valve on the end that... Uh, it was using to flush it out. This is the water valve for the fill. And this is the water valve 
that creates the pressure to suck the water out of the reservoir. And all the electrical controls are inside of here. It's the wiring for it. You can see the uh, conduit is all in good shape. It's not broke up, not rusted, not tore loose. It's all real tight. Copper tubing. Copper tubing coming out here. This is where we just have our rubber hose hooked to it. So this is where you hook your water in. This is just our hose for a hookup. And uh, the drain for the, is coming out the back. This is the drain right here. Uh, it's filling right now and it's not really creating steam yet. You can see it is just a little bit because we turned it on, but as soon as it gets nice and hot, then we'll really have some steam. Get warm enough that uh, that's getting hot. We get warm enough that we get some steam, and that'll be the last thing that you need to see. Okay, I'm starting to see steam come up. I don't know if you can see it on the camera much, but you can see we're getting bubbles. The water's out. <laughs> the water's hot. The water's starting to bubble. There, you can see that. Uh, it's starting to bubble. This is where the element is in this, this part of the uh, reservoir, this tap. This is where they put the new water in. So that's a good idea because they're pouring the water down here where the water's not as hot. So there we go. There we got bubbles. And there we're refilling. Got our steam. All right. Well, check out our pictures on our website. It's www.quipcon. Q U I P C O N dot com. You'll see the pictures of it all put back together. The panels in place. The cardboard will be gone. Be out in the nice bright sunlight so you can see anything that uh, you might want to be able to see a little clearer. Because, like I said, it is used. We're going to have a few dents, few scratch marks, but uh, hey, you know, that's to be expected. It has been in a bakery. If you got any questions about this, about the voltage or, um, you know, water hookup, uh, check out the website. It'll be on there, too. Or feel free to call us, 636-583-8200. Um, if somebody doesn't know the answer in the office for you, they will definitely find out and get right back to you. And one thing we can say, bud, it is proudly made in America. <laughs>